And so to the final pool match of 2019, and what a way to finish. Before the devastation of the typhoon, the Japanese had already earmarked this as their date with sporting destiny, and so rarely has a Rugby World Cup anthem seen such tears of emotion, pride and expectation. Could they beat Gregor Townsend Scotland in front of their own and become the first Asian country into the Rugby World Cup quarter-finals? They need to be patient here, Scotland. Just use the tight carries, get Japan back on the back foot. See Finn Russell in the back, but he doesn't want this ball, he wants the forwards, there's nothing on that out wide. Still they come, this is Gilchrist. And the Japanese no, doing their level best to disrupt possession. There's the penalty given up, and here comes Russell, bustling his way through! And Scotland have the first try of the game! A moment of opportunism from Finn Russell, the smallest of gaps, through he went. Well, we mentioned Finn Russell at the top of the show, and he's the man on his day, one of the best outside halves there is in the game. He's such a threat. We saw from his kick in game, this is the kick, pinpoint. Great chase. His opposite number to move does really well to gather the ball back. And Marcus Bradbury's on the spot, then he's just coming into shot. Number six to win the steal, win the turnover. And then it's just patience, we call for it. A few hit ups from there he is. Marcus Bradbury's had a fantastic start to this game. And then it's just Finn Russell change of direction again through two defenders and what a start for Scotland. The late man is Lovis Cagney and wide they go. That's for Ellie. Playing a lot of rugby between the two 10 metre lines, Japan at the moment. Yeah, there's lots of pretty sort of decoys and missed passes and passes behind, but not really causing Scotland too many problems. Fahele wants more, now there might be trouble for Kuoka. Brilliant, brilliant off the floor. And in goes Matsushima. Unreal. Brilliant, we're a commentator's curse, just as I said, Japan will cause Scotland any problems. Brilliant on the left-hand side from Fukuoka. He's been involved early on, held up early on, the small man, but just watch this on a replay. And that man just knows his way to the try line like no other winger. Brilliant work. Just watch, no room. Just gets caught short. But I see Graham on the outside, and it's brilliant to keep his balance, have him an awareness for the Oka, a way to support our players were coming from. Here's Darcy, he's on his heels. Chris Harris, desperate tackle, but brilliant offload. Nothing Stuart Hogg can do. And another try for Matsushima KT. Two outstanding passes, first by Lafayette with the miss pass out to Fukuoka. And the second one here off the deck, great trailing there for Matsushima. And now the crowd's into it, brilliant. He can't stop scoring, but what an impact Kenki Fukuoka has had off the bench in the last couple of games, but here turning provider from the outset. And Matsushima has his fifth at the Rugby World Cup of 2019. Scotland have possession here. Ben O'Keefe would like to see the ball, but he's awarding the penalty okay. to Japan. Okay. Smiles all around the Japanese puck. Okay. And the crowd have reacted as if they scored a try. Incredible. Yeah, yeah. Okay. To see Ben O'Keefe, I think he had the call from his touch judge, Michael Carley on this side. There he is, he's down early. Mandel, and all the front row. Congratulate, congratulate themselves, that's a big, big penalty for Japan. Nagare. Driven on by Labus Gagne. Quick ball again, Tamura. Trying to find some space, Nakamura. Some thunderous hits going in right now. I'm just going to say, Ali, it's so physical out there in Japan. The offloading game is unbelievable, and so too the stepping, Lafayette! That is unbelievable! Inagaki goes over. Japan finding something special. Absolutely sensational from Japan. Starting with 
Kanke, Fukuoka's take high ball, and from there they've just kept ball. And watch Machishima, no right to go through. Two guys are twice the size of him, just runs his weight. Brilliant work, just watch it, he gets caught in an open position, but then the offload, the support. Watch this, the support lines, the footwork from Tupo. And then the big man, the loose head. Kaitele Nagaki, what a moment for him under the sticks. Go back to Japan, and then have to defend again. No well claims. Luke Thompson drops on it, and Japan back in possession. And still they pull forward, still they're creative, looking for another attacking opportunity, and they've got it through Fukuoka! Irresistible! Indomitable! Japan riding a wave of emotion tonight! What a first half from these Japanese wingers. Fukuoka, he is some player, so small, but he is electric. He just scoops this ball out of the air, one-handed, doesn't break stride. I think it's Raphael who's put the kick in, sees the space behind. See Finn Russell just coming up into the line defensively, beautifully waiting to kick, but there we are, just plucks it out of the hair. See ya. Johnson is caught, and the big read here. From Fukuoka, who's stripped. The Scots in possession, and he's off, and he's away! Kenji Fukuoka! And Japan in total delirium! They have a bonus point! Oh, there's no stopping this man tonight. Kenkai Fukuoka, he has been absolutely sensational. All down to the light speed of the hit. Michael Leach making a one-on-one -on -one at Stuart Hall. We've seen so many times Stuart Hall make fours look silly. But this is such a crucial tackle. Sticks to his man again. We saw a few highlights only a few seconds ago and making the hit. And again, watch Fukuoka. Strips the ball. Just watch the awareness. Takes it before it hits the ground and he's off. The pace and speed of the man. It's just sensational to watch, KT. Absolutely brilliant from the number 11. He gets his double in this one and he deserves it to as you said been a threat every time he's been in and around the ball the heads are played with the rip and Kenki Fukuoka is having a blinder Dell the link man and lovely burst here from Richie Richie stretching his legs and needed to stay on his feet just lost his purchase on the footing on the 22 and another huge tackle coming in from Michael Leach still with the advantage here Scotland much more promising this from Gregor Townsend's men. Russell, Johnson, Hogg. Just finding one or two holes in the midfield now. Holes that weren't there before. Yeah, Russell did well. They've got an advantage Scotland, so they've got a shot and nothing new. Johnny Gray over the gain line, over the five metre line. Laidlaw. Not quite there. Snagged by Inagaki, but Fraser Brown is there with several of his forwards. Taken up by Nell, and Nell's over. And Scotland have one back, and maybe the comeback starts here. Oh, that's a great effort from the Scottish team, down and out. And it was that man, Jamie Ritchie, the open side for Scotland. We've got them on the front foot. Front foot with a brilliant break in midfield. Got him on the, here's the break. Great angle. Carries hard. Actually does a slight forward roll into the tackle, but then it's the power game from Scotland. Nell, who carries Johnny Gray, and he gets over the big tight end. So desperately needed that Scotland. Lost. Home. Tsushima holds on. And it's the Japanese turn to spend their time defending as they break through now here through Cummings. And onwards from Johnny Gray, the ball offloaded, and the try line is beckoning, and Ferguson is in. And Scotland have scored two in five minutes, and they are sensing something. What a turnaround in this game. Scotland dead or buried, as you say, Ali, five minutes ago. 
but they're back in this one. The big man's under Fugus and fresh legs. Finn Russell started it all. Magician in mid open space, creates the space, creates the go forward for Scotland. Great support work, great offloading. Thought the player can there, but just a great line. Scott Cummins, one, two, with the second row partner, Johnny Gray. And the big man, Xander Ferguson, too powerful, and he's over. And this game has flipped on his head, KT. Oh, 100%. It's the high numbers, too, coming off the bench and making an injection. George Horn has been outstanding. The ball's a lot quicker. But the big man coming on and making an impact. Game on. And the Japanese closing in on their place in history, their place in a World Cup quarter-final. I think one more, one more ruck, secure with the ball, will win it. And we've got their hands on that again by Scotland. Japanese still think they have it. That's it. Tanaka has it. The countdown is on. It's there for Japan. The victory is there. And the emotion pours down from the stands here in Yokohama. Pandemonium. The Rugby World Cup has an Asian quarter-finalist for the first time. And Japan have done it at the expense of Scotland. A World Cup thriller. Japan, 28, Scotland, 21. Oh, incredibly proud. I mean... From the very start, you know, we really played with our heart. Um, today was nothing about skill, it was all about emotion and physicality, and I think we showed that today. A phenomenal contest played with breathtaking speed and passion. In this most competitive of pools, it's Japan who march on undefeated towards South Africa in the quarters, runners-up Ireland will face New Zealand, and Scotland are sent home to think again.